Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. Thank you for coming back and checking out the video right here on YouTube. So we are coming towards the end of the game cycle, but everybody still is looking for those tactics that they can go and download, they can plug and play, and they can get great success with. And today I am back testing another tactic. This is one that has been put together by NAP. It's available on the FM Scout website. You obviously go on there, you can see the NAP table. Just go and look for this tactic and you'll be able to find it. I will leave a link in the description down below too so you can get your hands on it. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you get on, what teams you use. But as per usual, we're going to be testing it out today. We have got three teams lined up. We have got Arsenal in the Premier League. We have Notts Forest in the Championship and Portsmouth in League One. So you can see how it performs all across the English Pyramid. And we are going to jump straight on in to the tactic. This is a nap tactic. It is called the ME. Match engine 22.4 mid summer 442 MUP 103 all cups. Uh, I think there's probably a hidden message in there by NAP. Uh, not too sure what MUP is, but 103 all cups. I presume it's uh, Premier League 103 and it performed well in all of the cups. So we have a custom Tilpasset Tiki Taka formation. Uh, it's a 442. Basically, everybody loves a 4-4-2 in the footballing world. It's one of those formations that I don't think will ever die. And the football purists sometimes hammer home that you have to play a 4-4-2 because it's so effective. It doesn't always work. And all these new fancy ways of playing football, Mr. Klopp, Mr. Guardiola, etc. Uh, things do get a little bit lost, but this 4-4-2 is actually pretty solid. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through all the positions. We're going to show you the instructions if you need to pause the video at any point, feel free to do so. Those on the Xbox especially, if you need to write it down and then go and port it across the Xbox. Let me know in the comment section, does this actually work? Do the tactics from the PC version port to the Xbox? How do you get on? Let me know. Right then, let's jump into this tactic then. We are going to start off with the sweeper keeper on defend. We have a wing back on the left on automatic. We have two ball playing defenders in the middle. We have a wing back on automatic on the right. We have a wide midfielder on the left. Ball winning midfielder on support. Central midfielder on support. A wide midfielder on attack on the right. And then we play with two false nines up top, the left side and the right side. So as I said, this is a tactical style of custom Tilpasset Tiki Taka. Its mentality is attacking. It's in possession. Stats look like this. The in transition is on screen now. And the out of possession looks like this so it's a pretty basic tactic right it's a 442 you don't really get too much differential out of 442s they're all there and designed to go and play solid football where you got your banks of four you got your two players at the top of the pitch what we want to know is how does a nap 442 perform we are already on arsenal so we are going to go over to the competitions tab we're going to show you that in terms of arsenal they have won the league and that is something that is quite difficult to do on this game with the original squad. Uh, a tactic that wins the league is normally a good sign of a good tactic. Uh, they were knocked out in the fourth round of the FA Cup by Hull City though, so not too great there. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup by Manchester United. Uh, let's go into the Premier League then and have a little look at them. You can see in terms of the player stats, let's go in and look at in depth. Uh, Arsenal had two players represented on the top goal scorers. Eddie and Ketty are getting the most goals for Arsenal with 25, but Lacazette right behind him on 20. On the most assists list, you've got Martin Odegaard who balled out with 14 assists. Bukayo Saka getting 11, so two representatives on there. In terms of most shots, you've got Gabriel, which is a bit of a strange one, which is the defender Gabriel, not Gabriel Martinelli, so a bit odd. 
And he's right there with Bukayo Saka. Most man of the match awards. Uh, Bukayo Saka and Martin Odegaard there. Most tackles won is Takahiro Tomayasu. He's on the list there. Most dribbles made. Uh, Kieran Tini getting him right at the bottom with 92. That's quite impressive considering his position. Most clean sheets. Aaron Ramsdale features on this with 15 clean sheets across the season. And fewest goals conceded. Ramsdale conceded 40 goals from 37 appearances, which is not too bad. In terms of yellow cards, Gabriel getting himself 14. Uh, Sammy Lukonga, best cross completion. So that's something. Team goals. All Arsenal players there. Saka leading the list with 98. Games won. Lacazette leads the list with 26 alongside Ramsdale and Saka. So Arsenal then go on and win the Premier League. A win-loss record of play 38, 126, drawn 8, lost 4, 56 goal difference and 86 points. Winning it by 3 points from Liverpool. Uh, Manchester United also getting 83 points and Tottenham finishing on 79. So it works in the Premier League and that is quite impressive because I always thought the Premier League was one of those leagues that you needed one of these complex tactics. It's sometimes a tough league to crack. But Arsenal winning the league, that is quite impressive. And the tactics obviously work. So let's jump across the Nuts Forest. Let's see what's happened there. We hit their competitions tab. Uh, Skybet Championship. We can see they haven't actually been promoted. They did finish third though, so it's probably harsh that they didn't get promoted. Um, they have a win-loss record of 46 played, 31, 8 drawn, 8 lost, 48 goal difference and 98 points. Look at how cruel this game can be. Cardiff got promoted with 68 points. Forest finished 30 points clear of them in the league. But I suppose that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's have a look at the player stats then and see if this was as equally as impressive. Most goals, uh, that went to Lewis Graben. The Knotts Forest, 24 goals in a single season. Mr. Zinkenagel getting the most assists in the championship with 15. And Brennan Johnson also down there on the list with 10. Most shots went to Alexander Mitrovic, but you've got Graben and Keenan Davis at the bottom there. Dominic Solanke, most player of the matches, but you've got Zinkenagel, Graben and Johnson on that list. Most key passes, 226 for Philip Zinkenagel. Absolute baller. This guy can really play in the division above. So if like you get promoted with Forest, which obviously they didn't, which is so cruel. But if you did, you know you can take him with you. He's going to be playing fantastic. Most tackles. One was Tom Ince at Reading. Uh, Jed Spence featured high on the list in third place. 102 tackles won from 38 appearances. Most dribbles made. George Baldock getting the highest on um, that list. But Jed Spence is right there with 150. Most clean sheets. Freddie Woodman, who must have been on loan from Newcastle unless Bournemouth have signed him. But Bryce Samba, 18 clean sheets for the season. The fewest goals conceded. Fortunately, Bryce Samba is not on the list, which means he conceded more than 24 goals, which is probably the reason why they didn't get automatically promoted. So let's go back then and look at that in more depth. So, again, 46 games played, 31, 8 drawn, 8 lost, 48 goal difference, 98 points. It is absolutely devastating to see them not get promoted. It literally, like, they were two points away from getting automatic promotion, three points away from winning the league. So, again, this is a tactic that is going to work in the Skybet Championship. It's taken Nuts Forest to third place, and cruelly, they have not been promoted so finally on the list is Portsmouth let's jump in and have a look you can see if you were quick enough there that they have finished second in Skybet League One and they will be a championship team in the following season in terms of the FA Cup they got to the semi-finals got knocked out by Manchester City they got knocked out in the third round of the Carabao Cup by Manchester United they got to the quarterfinals at the Papa John's Trophy and were knocked out by Forest green so as always let's look at skybet league one uh let's bring the league table up and look at the player stats um yeah their win loss record is 46 played 28 won six drawn 12 losses 36 goal difference and 90 points so even though it's getting a good amount of points goal differences aren't fantastic i mean i know portsmouth have got promoted which is the aim of the game but maybe it's uh either they're not scoring enough goals or they're conceding too many goals Either way, 
tactic works because we've got another team out of a division. Um, let's have a look then through the player's stats. So most goals, they didn't have a goal scorer on the most goals. Now that is interesting because we have had tactics where their players have dominated the goal scoring charts. In this one, they actually haven't and they don't feature in the top eight players on that list at all. Uh, most assists though, Sean Williams, 16 assists, led the league. We have Marcus Harness with 12, and Michael Jacobs with 12 also. Uh, Michael Smith had the most shots in the league and we don't have a player featuring on there. Pontus Dahlberg, he got the most player of the match awards, but Sean Williams was bang there with him on seven. He also had the most key passes, uh, 203 key passes. At the age of 35, that is quite impressive. Michael Jacobs also getting 119 key passes down there in joint sixth. Best pass completion is pretty much irrelevant. Uh, Tommy Rowe had the most tackles in the league. Louis Thompson was there on 91 tackles won. Uh, that is from 29 appearances, so that is quite impressive. Most dribbles made, Connor Ogilvy, Ogilvy, uh, 97, and he's on that list. Clean sheets then, Jack Stevens, top of that list. Uh, we don't have a player on there. And then fewest goals conceded was Ken Kanoya, Boyce Clark, Connor, Kanoya, Boyce Clark. He conceded 16 across the season, so that is fantastic. But again, our goalkeeper not featuring on there. So, again, it's another one of those where it has performed really, really well. They got Arsenal to win the league. Uh, not Forest cruelly not getting promoted, but could have been and should have been. 30 points clear of the team that did get promoted. And then Portsmouth have gone up automatically. Only nine points behind Ipswich. So this is a tactic. Once again, NAP is one of the masters of making FM22 tactics. If you want to go check it out, either go to FM Scouts website or there's a link in the description down below. Either way, you can download it. Have a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments section down below. So a really good tactic. We're going to wrap it up at this one. If you're still at this point in the video and you're still watching, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please don't forget to do that. Helps the channel so, so much. Helps me to bring you all of these videos. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Go check out another video on the channel. Check out some more tactics or let's plays or rebuilds. Uh, but either way, I'm going to catch you on another video soon.